This might be quite a long video, so just bear with me. Uh, it is the 1st of January, 2023, uh, and my New Year's resolution is to give up alcohol for one year, uh, maybe even further. And I'll tell you the reasons why that I want to give up alcohol. Uh, although I did have a really good drink last night as my last farewell uh, to alcohol for a year. Uh, as it, the clock struck midnight, I did have a drink after that point till I got in this morning and then felt okay this morning. Not too bad. But um, here's some of the reasons why. Uh, I watched a video uh, of a guy and I will put it on my YouTube channel uh, about what the chemical breakdown of alcohol is in your body. So what the liver does and what the liver produces to get rid of the alcohol out of your system. And just let's be clear, alcohol is the only substance that you can put into your body that affects the brain, hence why you get drunk. Um, so let's just see, go through it. So it's a little bit tricky um, and a little bit technical, uh, but and I'll try and put a little screen thing on, on the screen, but uh, not sure how to do that yet. <laughs> But I'll put a link down below. Um, alcohol is metabolized by several processes or pathways. The most common of these pathways involves two enzymes. Alcohol dehydrogenase, I can't even say it, dehydrogenase, ADH, and a a aldehyde dihydrogenase, a D a L D H. These enzymes help break apart the alcohol molecule, making it possible to eliminate it from the body. So first, ADH metabolizes alcohol to acetate hide, a highly toxic substance and a known carcinogen. Then in a second step, the acetaldehyde is further metabolized down to another less active byproduct called acetate, also toxic, uh, which is then broken down into water and carbon dioxide for easy elimination, hence why it then gets to your brain. The enzymes also produce uh, chitochrome, uh, which is P410-2E1, whatever that number means, and catalase also break down alcohol to acetaldehyde. However, uh, the CYPT2E1 only is active after a person has consumed large amounts of alcohol and catalase metabolizes only a small fraction of alcohol in the body. So uh, small amounts of alcohol are also removed by interacting with fatty acids to form compounds called fatty acid ethyl esters, F-A-E-E-S's. Uh, these compounds have been shown to contribute to damage to the liver and pancreas. So look, that's just one little video that I've, I've seen and one little bit of information. Um, if that's the damage the alcohol is doing to my body, uh, then I've decided that I'm not going to drink it anymore. Uh, I'm not going to drink alcohol anymore. I'm going to try it for a year. I'm going to document my journey for the next year and see how my body changes, uh, see how my appetite changes, see how my metabolism changes, see if I sleep better, uh, see if I'm happier or whether I'm sad, you know, not as happy, sad as the case may be. Um, but stay with me on my journey. I know it's a long video to watch, but please make sure you've watched it all uh, and make your own informed choices and please drink responsibly if you are going to drink. Um, my choice is now not to drink uh, and I'm very stubborn uh, and I will not drink for the whole of 2023. Uh, the next one to tackle is sugar. Oh, stay with me for that one.